86 now, Clinton Cash. During the House Oversight Subcommittee hearing, whistleblower witnesses accused the Clinton Foundation of using donated funds for trips and expenditures for personal use. That would be against the law. The whistleblowers turned the evidence over to the IRS and to the U.S. Attorney John Huber in Utah. Huber is tasked with investigating Clinton malfeasance and FBI bias during the Obama years. However, Huber's team needed this evidence sent to them multiple times. Why? Well, it looks like Team Huber wasn't really interested in the anti-Clinton whistleblower <laughs> documents. So I find it just very coincidental that on November 30th, a few days before the hearing, after they had been noticed that we wanted them to come and testify, all of a sudden they would start following up. So was that the first time that, that Mr. Huber and his team actually got the documents from you, Mr. Doyle? That was, that was the third time. third time. So you're telling me that on November 30th, they called you back and they couldn't find the first two submissions that you had made to the Department of Justice and, and Mr. Huber? That they wanted you to send them again? That's what Is that we, what you're telling me? We're, we're concluding that ourselves. That's what we concluded. And it was just what I've been told by DOJ, which I do not believe, just to be frank, is that this was the normal process of following up on recent correspondence. So what can we conclude here? Hmm? Well, at the very least, Team Huber is sloppy. At the very most, that Huber and company are a tributary of the swamp. They were apparently uninterested in the Clinton evidence of violations of law. That's it. That is, I should say, until Team Huber found out that the Oversight Committee was investigating. Something is not right here. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum. Barry, I was wondering what Huber's been doing. I've been keeping an eye on this guy. There really hasn't been much information about him. And now we know what he's been doing. He's been ignoring evidence that could convict the Clintons. Graham, this isn't something's wrong. This is everything is wrong. How is it possible that two of the lead guys at the Clinton Foundation have been sending mountains of information proving improprieties such that the Department of Justice, the FBI, and the IRS are all investigating, and piles were sent but not received, then piles were sent and not received, and just a couple weeks ago, the Department of Justice goes, uh-oh, uh, I guess we should ask for them again, and then the Department of Justice refuses to, pro to produce the head investigator to a congressional oversight committee. They wouldn't let Huber show up. That's unprecedented, Graham. Yeah. Okay, so these whistleblowers apparently have information, all kinds of information, but among them uh, possible evidence of Bill Clinton uh, using foundation money for his own personal affairs. I use that word affairs advisedly in air quotes. But really, when you step back, you look at the big picture, uh, Barry, I, I'm pretty certain you've read this book, Clinton Cash. All this subcommittee has to do, and all the oversight committee had to do over the last two years, and it's depressing to me they didn't do it, was open up Schweitzer's book. And it's a prosecutorial roadmap for getting the Clintons. Listen, how bad does this sound? Hillary Clinton is Secretary of State. She's in charge of foreign relations of the United States of America. While she's Secretary of State, she approves $151 billion in contracts with people, all of whom, or countries, all of whom, or companies, all of whom, gave money to her family yep. foundation. In addition, billions and billions came in while this was going on. This has never happened in American history. And then, Graham, as you said, the two lead guys running the money said enough's enough. They, they literally are saying out loud to anyone that will listen, Bill Clinton was using the foundation as a personal piggy bank. I mean, on his birthday, Cutter gave Bill Clinton a million dollars, which Clinton says he took as a birthday present. 
He was getting a million dollars an hour for speeches from countries that two weeks later or three weeks later, literally, were getting approvals on contracts or relationships through the Secretary of State's office. This is pay for play on a scale America has never seen. You know what's worse about this, Barry, is that we are told right now that the IRS says it doesn't have the manpower to investigate the whistleblower's information, <laughs> yet it had the manpower through Lois Lerner to investigate innocent people like you and me. Unfortunately, I think we have to come to the realization that the swamp lives. Barry, thanks.